Today I want to attempt something that has never been done before. Kill Jad on three accounts at the same time. I got my main here, level 1 to 3 combat. I got my med over here, level 105 combat. And I got my pure here, level 78 combat. So I'm going to take all these accounts to Jad and try to kill Jad at the same time. And before attempting this challenge that has never been done before, I wanted to warm up my Jad killing abilities by not using my hands, so that's what I did. I wonder is it worth living now? They told me dreams come true once you live it out. I picked up pieces from my childhood in a broken house and heal my soul from the trauma we've been given now. I hear the whispers in the wind under smoky clouds And tell myself once again, I'ma work it out So much shit can happen, yo, it got me tripping now Yeah, it's feeling different now I did watch the replay on that attempt I was fighting Jad for 49 seconds And I tanked 5 magic hits But before we continue, I am extremely happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Manscaped so Manscaped hooked me up with a bunch of tools from their all-in-one performance package kit. So no matter if you have a dragon dagger or a dragon longsword, it's worth checking out. First of all, let me show you the new Lawnmower 3.0 waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts. The Lawnmower 3.0 is a cordless trimmer that has a built-in LED light, really helpful for grooming during those cold, dark winter nights. And this is my favorite item in the performance kit, the ball deodorant called Crop Preserver. It's very underrated and very useful. The package also includes the ball toner spray, both these bottles are game changing. And besides these bottles, we also get the Weed Whacker Nose Hair Trimmer. My nose hair grows like a goblin, so I definitely needed this. And for a limited time, you get all this plus two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Shaving Boxer Briefs. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping plus two free gifts when you use my link in the description down below. Your balls will thank you. Alright, it's time to go back in. This time we're gonna kill Jad on two accounts and the waves are gonna be pretty easy because we got defense and I think I can just auto-retaliate most of the waves. There we go. We have started. Oh no, I'm not ready. That's magic. That's magic. Alright, here we go. Is, was that the range? Range, range. I died! No, I failed this challenge. It was harder than I thought. Ah, that's bad of me. I can't believe I messed that up. I wasn't like, we gotta get the jets off tick to make this work. There we go. First jet is up. We got hit straight away. Same tick as well. All right, that's good. Magic, magic. Magic range. Range, range. We killed one. It's only one left now. This should be easy peasy. Yes, we did it. We did it. Fire keep on two accounts. Beautiful. Sadly, no pet. Now it's time for the final challenge here. Can we do Jad on three accounts at the same time? And now I'm going to be having my one defense pure meaning. If I mess up my prayers, Jad is definitely gonna hit and it's even possible for Jad to one hit my pure prayer prayer and prayer let's go okay I'm fucking up so badly I'm dead I'm dead on two account no way. This is actually so hard. Please don't die on the third account. I was fully focused on the pure that I couldn't even watch the other accounts. I actually died. I got a PB at least on the pure. If I had Twisted Bow on all my three accounts, it would be a lot easier. But since I only have it on the one defense pure, it's a struggle. Nope. One account dead. Magic. 
We killed one. Yes, we killed at least two of them. Oh, that feels good. We actually killed two. We killed two Jads while being on three accounts at the same time. Uh, I feel like that is an achievement itself. Oh my god, I don't... Oh. I don't think my blowpipe can out DPS the healers. I think that's a huge problem. I think we're done with this attempt of doing Jad on three accounts at the same time. I might come back to this later, but for now, I think we're done with this challenge. However, we still have a few fire capes we can trade in for a chance of a pet. A total of eight fire capes are going to be traded in. Good luck to me. Guess I won't get... Never lucky. Never lucky. Never lucky. Never lucky. No pet on the main account. Alright, two more capes. Never lucky. Never lucky. Alright, then the final two capes on the pure. Never lucky. No pet today. That's unfortunate. Alright, we're gonna take a break from Jad and we're gonna start PVMing on multiple accounts at the same time. I got all three of my accounts here. My pure, my med, and my main account. And in the last episode we did this, we got ourselves a pet chaos elemental. And by the comment section, you decided to call this one C Elemental. And now it is time for us to get another pet. No matter how dry we go. And the pet we are going for is going to be a wilderness pet by the name of Scorpia. Scorpia is a wilderness boss with three unique items to obtain. It can drop the Odium Shard and the Malediction Shard with a drop rate of 1 in 256. And Scorpia can also drop its pet with a drop rate of 1 in 2000. However, there is one thing I've always been curious about. Whenever Scorpia reaches half HP, Scorpia spawns its healers, which you usually kill. However, since I'm using three accounts, we can out DPS the healers. Oh my god, we are out DPSing the healers. That's what I wanted. We got something, we got a malediction shard. First shard obtained. Another shard, an odium shard, kill count 16 on the med account. Well, hello there, that's another odium shard. The interesting thing about doing this on multiple accounts is we don't know which account is going to get the pet. We got another Odium shard on kill count 69. Sadly, these shards are worth nothing. So if you're in it for the money, this is not the boss to go to. I would recommend any other boss. Uh, the only reason why people do this boss is because of the pet. And after 300 Scorpia kills, we encountered our second PK interaction. I managed to escape, but what's interesting about this one, they managed to skull trick me. I didn't risk anything, but they succeeded to skull trick me. Oh, no way! I got the pet! I actually got the pet already! I got it on the med! The med wins the pet gamble once again! Run, baby, run! 129 kill count on this account. We have killed around 700 or 600 Scorpias in this video. We did a total of 624. Scorpia kills, so we were definitely on the drop rate for this pet. But look at that bad boy, I'm so happy! Oh, I just heard the sound effect and I was like, yes! It's happened! It finally happened! And once again, the top comment in the comment section down below, that will be what we are naming this pet. Alright, we're gonna, of course we gotta insure this pet. 500k? We now have two pets on this account. And you may be wondering what loot did we get from Scorpia? We got a total of six shards and items worth a total of 3.8 mil. And this took me around four or five hours, I would say. And after getting the Scorpia pet, I decided to try out Armadil. And it went so bad, I decided to delete the clips. Then I tried out Corporal Beast, but I kept getting crashed by these guys. So now I am going to try out Mole. And there's actually one thing I need to do mole efficiently, and that is to complete Falador Hard Diaries. And I have barely completed anything, so I need to complete two, three quests in total, plus get 56 runecrafting. Quest number one, completed. Quest number two, completed. Falador Easy Diary, completed. Falador Medium Diary, completed. 56 runecrafting. And that is Falador Hard Diary completed. Now that we have completed the Falador Hard Diary, we can now do the Giant Mole. This will give us noted mole skins, as well as the arrow that points what direction mole dug to. Time to do mole on multiple accounts at the same time. 
We got 94 range on the pure. So far we have made 1.8 mil. There's no exciting drops from mold to be honest. It's just consistent money once you get the diary done. I just got a long bone on uh, the uh, the one defense pure. Great. Hey, long bone. Hey. We are up to around 250 kills. We made 5 mil so far. Volatile spec. Go. Boom. 57 for the kill. Ooh, another long bone. Oh my god, another long bone. You know what? Uh, the drop rate to get the baby mole, the baby mole pet, is 1 in 3000. I'm gonna stay here until I get a pet or until I get a curved bone, which is 1 in 5000. Because I really don't want to burn myself here. No way, we got a curved bone on the pure. Could have been the pet. I didn't even notice we got a curved bone. Yep, uh, another unique item, a dragon spear. All right, we're gonna end the, the mole grind right there. We got the curved bone and we made a total of 11.6 mil. We got 613 kill count on this account and around 100 kill count on the remaining two accounts. But now it is time to go back to Jad. We're gonna need a few changes to complete the challenge. And one of them is accepting another Tebow on uh, one of the accounts. So this is gonna help me a lot. Another thing that will help me is if I get a Jad task for 15% extra damage. We, we have 600 points to skip. Yes, we finally got it. Took me like 500 points. Switch task to suck Jad. Good luck, thank you. Sadly though, <laughs> My Slayer Helmet isn't imbued, so uh, we have to go and imbue this one. Alright, we have 259 points on the med. Good luck, Jad Task. Good luck. Oh, <laughs> first one. Thank you. There is no way I just did that. I accidentally clicked in, and without thinking I just clicked out of the cave. And now I don't have the task anymore. Oh my freaking god. We do have a problem right now. We have to give our twisted bow back to the person we loaned it from. So I won't be able to have time to imbue the Slayer Helmet. And I just want to point out, I started off having two Jad Slayer tasks. But I end up getting zero offensive bonuses from my Slayer Helmet. And with that being said, let's pot up and begin the kill. Ray, Ray, Mage, Magic, Range, Dick, Magic, Range, Magic, Range, Range. This is actually going smooth. We got a kill. We only have to focus two accounts. Is that the kill? We got the two kills! Oh my, they should, they should be done. They should be the one. Oh, this is just the pure lift. This should be the challenge completed. I'm actually gonna save up. Uh, we're not taking any risks here. Come on, ACB. Get the kill now. There we go. We did it. We did it, yes. Hell yeah, we complete the jab on three accounts. At the same time, let's go look at that. Look at all the triple fire capes. Look at them. We actually did it. We got personal best on this account. 40 minutes, 54 seconds. How is it only 40 minutes, 54 seconds? I can't believe that. Let's gamble in the capes and celebrate with a pet on all three accounts. I think it's the only fair thing. Never lucky. Never lucky. Never lucky, no pet today, but it doesn't matter. We completed the challenge! And I was looking through the boss list of ideas I could do using multiple accounts. And there's a few things we could attempt still. Two accounts Zuck. We could do Theater of Blood solo while I'm on three accounts at the same time. And we could potentially do Chambers of Zarek as well. Let me know in the comments if you want to see something of those. And with that being said, I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to give this video a like. I think we deserve 10k likes. And if you made it till the end, make sure to subscribe as well. And I will see you guys in one week. Goodbye. Talk to me.